Shot fired, call delayed. A gun goes off inside a rec center and no one calls police for more than an hour. The kicker, a detective was there when it all went down. News 5 Sarah Finney has been asking questions about this all day. And Sarah, rec centers are supposed to be a safe place for kids. Absolutely, Danita. Rec centers are supposed to be an escape for children, a place where guns are forbidden. I'm not surprised. You know, it could happen anywhere. Felton Jones plays basketball at the Glenville Rec. He feels safe unless guns are around. If somebody is armed while I'm in there, uh, best believe I'm going to be hitting that, that exit door. Police say security footage shows a group of juveniles in the game room Wednesday evening. Some were gambling. At 531, a gun went off. Investigators say a 13-year-old who peers say is known to carry a revolver ran off. When a second boy stands up, a gun can be seen in his waistband, according to police. Even though the rec center manager heard the shot, a call to police wasn't made for 95 minutes. She told investigators, we didn't call right away. We were trying to secure everything and make sure everybody was okay. We tried to talk to her today, but she wasn't interested in answering our questions. I know a lot of kids out here is probably scared or uh, going through something. Activist Judy Martin with Black on Black agrees. Too many of our kids don't feel safe. They don't feel like they're going to make it past senior high. She wants to know how kids are getting their hands on guns in the first place. How did he get it? Where did he get it? Was it his mom's or his dad's? Jones hopes this situation doesn't tarnish Glenville wreck. There's no telling how many kids would be killed or dead right now if this wreck wasn't right here. CPD says the off-duty detective who was there when this all happened may face an internal investigation. Meanwhile, the city of Cleveland is looking into this incident, too. We'll keep you updated. Live in Cleveland, Sarah Finney, News 5.